he's back. The Yankees and Mets will play the third game of their five-game series, and I'm going to be positive today. DJ LeMahieu is back. Lay Machine has received updates and is here to save the Yankees. There's the Mets lineup that will face Jay Happ. They'll be pitching Robert Gazelman today. There's the Yankees lineup. Some more great news in addition to DJ being back, no Gary Sanchez today. Eric Kratz is back in there for the Yankees. We'll take a look at their stats since August 8th, and it's the obvious decision to start Kratz today. Sanchez needed a break. A little more exciting news as well, we're going to be seeing at least one of the Yankees' top pitching prospects tomorrow. Alright, let's get into the action, starting with the top of the first. Nimmo struck out swinging to begin the ball game. Davis it went on the ground a third. DJ made a sliding stop and threw him out at first. Welcome back, DJ. Doesn't matter where you put him on the diamond. He's a gold glove fielder anywhere. Conforto lifted one in the air to left field. Gardner made the play to end a 1-2-3 first inning for Hap. DJ lifted one in the air to fairly deep right center field. Hamilton went back and made the play in front of the track for the first out of the inning. Voigt lined one in the air to deep right field. Conforto looked up, and this one was gone. Luke Voigt hit a rocket into the short porch and right, his 12th home run of the year, to give the Yankees an early 1-0 lead. Hicks struck out swinging for the second out of the inning. Talkman lined one into left, but Nimmo was positioned perfectly to make the play and end the inning. With the rain starting to fall, Alonzo struck out looking. Cano hit one up the middle, but Jordy Mercer was there for the second out of the inning. Ramos lifted one in the air to right, and Talkman barely had to move to make the play and in a 1-2-3 inning for Hap. Frazier struck out swinging to begin the bottom of the second. Gardner swung on the first pitch and lifted it in the air to right. Conforto made the play for the second out of the inning. Mercer hit one on the ground to short. Rosario fielded and threw to first. His throw was offline, but Smith made the tag to end a 1-2-3 inning for Gazelman. Smith hit one on the ground to second. Wade made the play for the first out of the third. Rosario hit one on the ground and threw the left side for a base hit to give the Mets their first base runner of the game. Hamilton struck out swinging on a foul tip for the second out. Rosario ran on the pitch to Nimmo, and Kratz threw a strike from his knees to throw him out at second. I'm not kidding when I say the Yankees need to play Kratz more. There's only two things Sanchez does better than Kratz. Hit home runs and strike out. And he's really only doing one of those things consistently this year. Kratz worked the count full, but struck out swinging. Wade grounded out to short for the second out of the inning. DJ drilled one in the air to deep right field. Conforto went back, onto the track. He leaped at the wall, but it was off the wall, and the ball rolled away from him. Hamilton came over to back up the play, but he slipped a little bit, and DJ went all the way to third with a triple for his first hit back off the injured list. Conforto was slow to get up because he went hard into the right field wall. Listen to that. He did stay in the game, though. Voigt hit one on the ground to third. Davis made the play to end the inning and strand the runner on third. Nimmo hit one on the ground to first, and Voigt made the play for the first out of the fourth. Davis lifted one in the air to fairly deep right. Talkman drifted back onto the track, and he made the play for the second out of the inning. Conforto tapped one back to the mound, and Hap made the play to end another 1-2-3 inning. Hicks struck out swinging to begin the bottom of the third. Talkman lined one in the left field for a base hit to give the Yankees a one-out base runner. Gazelman tried to pick off Talkman, but he threw the ball away. Smith was on top of Talkman, so obstruction was called, but it didn't matter because Talkman ran all the way to third on the throwing error by Gazelman with only one out. With the infield in, Frazier hit one to third, and Talkman was thrown out at the plate. Once again, the Yankees failed to bring home a runner from third with less than two outs. They had two of these opportunities last night that they failed in, which is a big reason why they blew the lead and lost. Hopefully that doesn't happen again today. Gardner drilled one in the air to deep center field. Hamilton went back. He looked up, and it was off the wall. He got the ball in quickly and started a great relay to throw Frazier out at the plate, trying to score from first. It's just comical at this point how this team continues to struggle to score runs. The Yankees challenged the play. I actually thought he could have been called safe, but they stuck with the original call on the field to end the inning. Alonzo hit one on the ground and threw the left side for a base hit to begin the top of the fifth. Cano hit one on the ground to second. Wade started a 4-6-3 double play for the first two outs of the inning. Ramos lined one back up the middle, and it got down in front of Hicks for the Mets' second hit of the inning. Smith struck out swinging to end the inning as Hap was through five scoreless. Mercer hit one hard, but right at Smith for the first out against Steven Matz. Kratz worked his second full count of the game, 
but also struck out swinging for the second time today. Wade struck out looking to end a 1-2-3 inning for Mats. Rosario hit one on the ground to second, and Wade made the play for the first out of the sixth. Hamilton hit one weakly in the air to center, and Hicks was there for the second out of the inning. Nimmo tapped one towards the mound, and Hap made the play as he now completed six shutout innings on only 77 pitches. DJ hit one on the ground to third, and Davis made the play for the first out against Jared Hughes. Voigt struck out swinging for the second out of the inning. Hicks worked a two-out walk, bat flip. Talkman grounded out to second, and a scoreless inning for Hughes. Davis line went into deep left field. Gardner went back, he leaped, and he made an amazing play to rob Davis of extra bases for the first out of the seventh. Conforto struck out swinging for the second out of the inning. Alonso hit one on the ground to short, and Mercer made the play to end another 1-2-3 inning for Hap. If he's done for the day, which I'm not sure if he will be, this would probably be the Yankees' best start from a pitcher this season. Frazier worked a walk to begin the bottom of the seventh against Brad Brock. With Frazier running, Gardner walked to put two on with nobody out for the Yankees. Mercer tapped one back to the mound. Brock threw to third for one, but the throw back to first was late. Probably should have just bunted to advance the runners. Kratz struck out swinging for the third time today. The 1-0 pitch to Ford got away from Ramos, and Gardner moved up to third. Ford is pinch hitting for Wade with two outs in the seventh. Ford worked the count full and walked to load the bases for Lay Machine. This end of the day for Brock as Familia came in for the Mets. DJ tapped one slowly to third. Davis made the play to end the inning as the Yankees left the bases loaded and wasted another opportunity to extend their lead. Cano grounded out to second to begin the top of the eighth. This end of the day for Hap as Ottavino came in for the Yankees. Great job, Hap. Seven and a third shutout innings, exactly what the Yankees needed. Ramos drilled one in the air to deep left field. Gardner looked up, and it hit the foul pole. Wilson Ramos had a game-tying home run on the third pitch from Adovino. The great start by Hap was wasted as the Yankees' bullpen blew another lead. The bullpen is the number one reason why they're currently on this seven-game losing streak. Out of the last five games, Adovino blew one, Green blew two, and Chapman blew the save and lost last night. The only other loss was Cole, so the so-called strengths coming into the season are the reason why we're close to falling into third place. Smith grounded out to second for the second out of the inning. Rosario struck out looking to end the inning, but the damage was done. Tied game going to the bottom of the eighth. Voigt popped one in the air to right. Conforto made the play for the first out against former Yankee Justin Wilson. Hicks chopped one to third, and Davis made the play as he's now three for his last 26. Talkman lifted one in the air to left, and Nimmo made the play to end a 1-2-3 inning for Wilson. Hamilton hit one in the air to center, and Hicks made the play for the first out of the ninth against Chapman. Nimmo looped one to the right side, and Estrada made a great leaping play for the second out of the inning. Davis was hit by a pitch with two outs and nobody on. That's probably going to leave a mark. Conforto chopped one to third, and DJ went the short way to end the inning. The Yankees would now have a chance to walk off for the win. Frazier walked to begin the bottom of the ninth against Batances. You all know how bad Dellen is at holding runners on, so they probably want to put something in motion here. Gardner struck out looking on a pitch above the zone. With Frazier running, Mercer line one in right field for a base hit. Conforto cut the ball off before it could reach the wall, and this saved the game as Frazier stopped at third. The Yankees now had the winning run 90 feet away with one out. Kratz showed bunt, and Batances threw the ball over the head of Ramos. Frazier came in to score the winning run as the Yankees broke their seven-game losing streak. Finally, Yankees win! The showing of the bunt made Batances uncomfortable, and he lost the game for the Mets. The Yankees absolutely needed this win, and they got it. The losing streak is over, and now they'll try to get a winning streak going. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we might see you later today for a college football highlight video.